Hey guys, it's Narissa. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul. I went shopping this weekend. I went to Aldi's and Walmart. So I have a haul from both of those places that I will combine into one. Um, I went ahead and scanned my electronic receipt so I could tell you what I got back from the Fetch app. And I, let's see, this time I only got 173 points, something like that, almost 200 points, which I think is about, um, not a lot, but it adds up and you don't even pay any attention to it. Just hit that e-receipt um, after you go shopping and it'll just accumulate and accumulate. I think I'm up to um, like a $20 gift card just by using it this year. So anyway, check the description box down below. I have a referral link where you will get anywhere between two and 4,000 points when you put in my code and scan your first receipt, um, depending on what promo promotion they have going on at the time. And, but it's like free money, you might as well do it. And it's not like Ibotta where you have to pick things ahead of time, but anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Narissa. I like to post basically food content, anything that involves food. And so I hope that you subscribe and stick around. So let's jump right into this grocery haul. So first of all, I got this smoked sausage. This smoked sausage is so good and it's like the key ingredient in this smoky cheesy potato soup that I make. My husband actually found it online a long time ago and we have been making it ever since. I can't even tell you, as soon as the weather starts to cool off, we'll make it, I don't know, five or six times probably. But it's really good and it uses this smoked sausage. It actually also uses some Velveeta cheese. I usually get the off brand because it's like a dollar or two cheaper. This stuff is so expensive and it's like, all it is is salt, um, <laughs> really. But uh, I could not find it on the Walmart app so I just went ahead and paid the extra dollar or two and got the name brand. And then I also got a bag of potatoes, just a regular five pound bag of russet potatoes for that soup as well. I did get some other canned goods for the soup. Um, I do have a video that I did a long time ago on this soup and the recipe, so I will link it uh, down below if you are interested in making that soup, or maybe I'll make another video on it because it's that good. And then I also grabbed one container of this silk almond creamer. I just paused because I don't think Mike got his creamer. I must have accidentally forgotten to add it. I don't know. Sometimes I forget things when I'm um, on the Walmart app because I do it late at night. So I got my creamer. Hopefully my creamer is okay with him. And then I also grabbed several cans, four cans of these mushrooms, just pieces and stems. This is just to add to the pantry shelf because we are out. Then I also grabbed several different types of pasta because we were really running low on that too. This isn't for any specific recipe just to have on hand. For um, quick dinners, I grabbed the penne, spaghetti, and fettuccine. Sometimes we actually like to have the fettuccine um, when making spaghetti too. It just makes it a little bit different and it's really good. I also grabbed a gallon jug of distilled water. This is actually for some of my essential oil like concoctions and some of the recipes call for distilled water. Then I grabbed one jar or squeeze tube of this tomato ketchup. I generally have been getting the 50% less sodium lately and it's 50% less sugar. I guess I didn't realize that. Um, just because, you know, why not? It tastes the same to me and might as well reduce some sugar when you can. Then I also grabbed a squeeze tube of real mayo. This is something that I always like to keep on hand. I always like to keep real mayo and then Miracle Whip on hand. Then I grabbed two cans of black olives. This is something that we eat a lot of, black olives. Oh, I just love them. Every time we have tacos, we have black olives. Do you guys fix black olives when you have tacos or not? So this is definitely like a state, like we have to have black olives if we're going to have tacos. That's just a must have for me. And then I grabbed four cans of evaporated milk. This is another ingredient in that smoky cheesy potato soup. And then we're also going to make chili. The weather just turned here. It turned fall like today. So uh, <laughs> um, the cold front came in today. So we have lots of soup planned for the next couple of weeks in the meal plan. But grabbed four cans of chili beans and then just a couple big cans of tomato sauce and then also um, two big jugs of tomato juice. 
So we can have all of this on the pantry shelf ready for chili whenever we decide to have some. Then I love these real bacon pieces. I've been getting these forever. They also make them low sodium. Um, you can use these in anything. They're not like the hard, crunchy, fake bacon bits that um, you know you used to put on salads. They're like real bacon pieces. And I actually just used the rest of one bag that I had in the refrigerator in an omelet, a spinach swish bacon omelet this morning. And they're really, really good. I put them on um, homemade pizzas and on wraps and things like that. Great to have on hand. And then we have really been liking these lately, these um, rice cakes. They're cheddar rice cakes, and they're the small little, like, chip size. And the serving size is huge. 18 pieces for 140 calories, that's it. I also grabbed one um, loaf of our, well, my, I don't know, I love all kinds of bread, but I really like the Sara Lee honey wheat. So I grabbed one loaf of that. And then is that all for the food items from Walmart? I think it is. I got some drinks and then some dog treats and stuff. But um, I needed some more tape for my planner and like um, journaling and stuff like that. So I saw that Pen and Gear had an invisible tape and it specifically says it's for, well this one doesn't actually doesn't say that it's for scrapbooking, but it said it online. Anyway, and then I also grabbed one of these fabric cutters or um, rotary wheels. I have some fabric that I need to cut into strips, and I'm like, you know what? I don't have one of these in my stash. I'm going to get one because this will make my cutting go so much easier. I'm going to make my son, he's turning one here in a few weeks, a high chair banner with a bunch of different fab fabric strips that you put around his high chair when he eats his cake on his first birthday. If you know what I'm talking about, I don't know if I described that very well, but... Then I also grabbed some canine carryout hot dog minis. The dogs like these for a treat. I have three dogs. I have a German Shepherd, a German Shepherd mix, and then also a lab. And they would die for these. These duck jerky strips, they get these every day as a treat. They love them. And then I just grabbed a giant box of um, tall kitchen bags. Needed to stock up on those. And then this is just, uh, I wish that I didn't like Diet Mountain Dew, but I do. And I really like it out of these bottles because I can take a couple drinks and then put the lid back on it and it's ready to go when I want another drink and I can throw it in my lunchbox for work. So I actually grabbed three six packs of these because my husband does drink some of them too. And then I also just grabbed one um, case of cans of Diet Mountain Dew. And then, diapers. Um, I went ahead and grabbed the oh, All Good brand again. I really had been liking these, but actually now I'm kind of having some bad luck with them. They're kind of exploding when the diaper gets too full, and that is not fun. So um, I had difficulty. I didn't want to go into the store, so I had difficulty actually finding other size 4 diapers on the app. So I just went ahead and got these again, and I'll have to get some different ones at a different time. All right, and then as far as the frozen stuff, this is all I got. I got some um, chopped spinach to keep in the freezer because I really like spinach. Um, well, I used to eat a lot of spinach in smoothies, and I haven't been eating smoothies lately, but I really like spinach in um, like quiches and omelets and stuff like that, especially when you pair it with Swiss cheese. So I went ahead and grabbed two bags of this to keep in the freezer couple things I forgot from Walmart. I did go ahead and grab a package of grape tomatoes. I'm so upset our garden is done, so now I'm back to buying tomatoes. Oops. And then one last dog item. Um, I forgot that Walmart has these. I thought they were more of a specialty item, but these pill pockets, um, these work on one of my dogs for giving her pills, so I needed another package of those. Now my total at Walmart was $183. So next up is Aldi's, and my total at Aldi's was $111. So let's start with the produce. I grabbed a head of cauliflower um, and a head of um, broccoli because just steamed cauliflower and broccoli sounded good to me. So we'll have that as a side dish um, a couple times this week. And then I also grabbed a head of regular just iceberg lettuce. I do have some other lettuce in the refrigerator that's left over from last week, so I didn't need too much. Um, I did grab another package of carrots. I have, <laughs> I always buy carrots and then I don't eat them all. So sometimes I just decide not to buy them because I don't want to waste them, but 
I'm going to try and eat this whole package of carrots this time. I grabbed one bag of Vidalia onions. Um, these are my faves. And then I also grabbed one small bunch of semi-green bananas for breakfast and also for Lakeland. And then these garlic knots, if you haven't gotten these before, I highly recommend these. These are so good. So you see, they're actually in the bread section. They're not refrigerated or anything like that. Um, but you just heat and serve. You can bake them in the bag. And you see they have an expiration on them, 929, but they freeze really well. Uh, if you don't know, bread freezes really well, like all bread. Um, a lot of times, like for example, that Sarah Lee honey wheat bread that I got from Walmart, we won't go through more than maybe half of a loaf in a week. And um, we kind of are hit or miss on whether or not we have sandwiches or toast or stuff like that. So I just throw it in the freezer and then get it out when we're ready for bread again. And it's just perfect. So I got two bags of these and they come eight knots in a bag. And what I'll do is I will um, cook the four and then I put the other four in the freezer. I'll put half of one and the whole one in um, the freezer and then I just get them out as I need them and I cook them in my air fryer and they're done super quick and you have small portions and it's perfect. So highly recommend trying these if you haven't yet. I also grabbed one box of my favorite cereal, this Vitality Vanilla Almond um, Fit and Active brand. I love it. And then yay, it's fall time so they have these maple leaf cream cookies back at Aldi's. They're the Benton's brand. Oh, these are so good. Um, I do think they're a little bit smaller than they were in the past, though. Does anyone else that also enjoys these think that or just in my head? Then I also grabbed a box of these wheat round crackers. These are similar to Ritz crackers and um, pretty good and also a lot cheaper. So I grabbed some of the wheat. We really like those. And then I had uh, Pringles in so long and I just saw these actually when I was waiting on the restroom these are the Clancy's brand they're called stackers so I grabbed some sour cream and onion I'll have these in my lunch this week and then uh, these were open on the way home Mike and I didn't have any lunch so we uh, basically ate these for lunch on our ride home these are aged cheddar and black pepper they also have another flavor of these kettle chips but they're kind of like a little spe well specially selected it's a specialty potato chip and they are so good I, just, I really really like these I grab them every time I see them then I grabbed a container of this already prepared um, coleslaw I haven't had all these prepared coleslaw so I don't know how it is but we're gonna give it a try because I also found this and this is a new to me it's cook house it says just add pork um, apple bourbon pulled pork sauce so we're gonna have some it's not we're not cooking pork but we're gonna have some type of um, probably wild game this week in the crock pot so I thought we would try this and have some coleslaw on the side and then I also grabbed some of these little split top potato buns I thought these looked really good and there's a ton in here but I thought these would go good with that um, apple bourbon pulled pork and again I will freeze probably like half at least half of these and then we'll have them again at a later date then I grabbed one small package of mild cheddar shredded cheese and then I grabbed a couple packages of tortilla shells I grabbed these low carb fit and active we had these um, the last time or last over the last couple weeks and they are really good and actually quite a few less carbs. You know, sometimes it says low carb and it's really actually not. Um, but they're pretty good compared to some of the other wraps. And then I got these uh, not low carb spinach and herb, herb wraps. These are going to be for, um, you know, wraps and pinwheels and stuff for my lunches over the next couple of weeks. And then I couldn't pass these up. I am a donut aholic and I just, these these called my name these glazed chocolate donuts yum yum and then I grabbed three packages of these by the simply nature brand they're those um, squeezable fruit pouches my son loves these and I actually found some toppers that go on these they're like spill proof toppers I'll link them down below if you've never seen them before they're actually really really helpful because you don't make a mess they're a little pricey I think for like what they are but still definitely worth the, I want to say they were maybe like 
four dollars a piece or something but I'll link them down below if you haven't seen those before but I grabbed the apple multi fruit apple peach and then apple strawberry so he will enjoy those and then I grabbed two boxes of protein bars I usually grab like four of these and eat meat my husband and I will eat these for breakfast um, and I would definitely would every morning, but I'm kind of getting over it. I kind of am wanting something different for breakfast. So I just grabbed two boxes and we'll throw them in the pantry and grab them for snacks or for breakfast. And then I went ahead and grabbed some of these dark chocolate chunks. Uh, my coworker has been having this mixed with um, nuts and I'm like, yeah, that looks good. So I found these dark chocolate chunks. Maybe I'll make a little blend myself. However, I did also grab some of this trail mix, and it's called Indulgent Trail Mix. So it has peanut butter drops, milk chocolate drops, white chocolate drops, peanuts, dried cranberries, raisins, almonds, and cashews. But if you look at it, there's not a lot of nuts in there. It's mostly other stuff. So I may have to add some nuts to it, um, but it looked good and sounded good. And then this is something we always get, these sea salt pita chips. This is... Um, a really good way to like dip up some type of salad like um, oh like tuna salad or egg salad or chicken salad that makes a great lunch and then these baked barbecue potato chips I went at Clancy brand I went ahead and grabbed some of those those are another lunch snack for me all right then moving around to the back side here I just grabbed one package of turkey um, lunch meat this is the lunch mate brand for sandwiches for the next couple weeks and then I grabbed a package of frozen hash browns these just sounded really good I, some of the other YouTube channels that I watched were um, making things with these and I was like oh I haven't had hash browns in so long and then I love all these chicken strips these are the Kirkwood brand and they are perfect to cook in the air fryer we use these for everything just as chicken strips or we make um, buffalo chicken wraps with them. We also will cut them up and put them on a salad for a crispy chicken salad. They're really good and um, they cook up perfectly in the air fryer. And then as always I grabbed one big chunk of this um, Mediterranean herbs salmon. We try and eat salmon once every couple weeks at least. Um, it's so good for you and this all these already seasoned Mediterranean herb is really really good. And then I was just talking about chicken and the price of chicken breasts in one of my other videos. And actually, Aldi's had chicken breasts on sale. Um, it says $1.89, but it was on sale for $1.69 a pound. So you can get it for $1.89 every day, um, but they were on sale, $1.69 a pound. So I grabbed two big, like, four-pound packages of this. And then I also grabbed this was, like, while I was waiting in line. Um, this Mama Cozy's Rising Crust Spinach, Mushroom, and Garlic Pizza. So this is what we're going to have tonight with a side salad. I'm getting ready to put it in the oven right now. And then last but not least, we needed some toilet paper. So I went ahead and grabbed just one package of the Willow brand. So soft. Um, you can compare it to, what is it, Angel Soft, which is usually what I get at Walmart and usually I get like I stock up but it's still only limit one so I was only gra able to grab the one all right then here is my meal plan these are just meal ideas that I made my um, grocery list off of and we generally meal plan for two weeks so these are meals that I have ingredients for that we can make over the next couple weeks so we have the cheesy smoky potato soup and you really don't need anything else to go along with that because it is um, a very like heavy rich soup and then chili and grilled cheese and then I have quiche on the list I have a pie shell in the refrigerator that I need to use up and my favorite flavor is spinach and Swiss and then we're going to do pulled pork sliders or pulled venison sliders and coleslaw on the side. And then also we'll have um, deer loin, baked potato, and some steamed broccoli and cauliflower. Then I have chicken alfredo with broccoli and garlic knots. So those are some ideas for us for the next couple of weeks. All right, guys. So that is it for my grocery haul and meal plan. I hope this grocery haul gave you some ideas of some new items that you might want to try or look for when you go grocery shopping and also maybe some new dinner ideas. Don't forget to scan your receipts. Press the little electronic 
receipt scanner on your Fetch app. So free money, don't forget to do that. Sometimes I forget. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.